We first invested in Vroom a little over three years ago. So we've seen the company grow from about a hundred million in revenues to about a billion. And we're excited to be participating in this most recent round of financing to support the next chapter of growth for the company. We're excited about the business for three reasons, uh, beginning with the category itself. It's a $450 billion category in the U.S., highly fragmented. The largest player in the category has only a 3% market share. And we think that that fragmentation creates an environment where Vroom can build a multi-billion dollar business through good execution. The second aspect is we think the value proposition itself is extraordinarily compelling. Vroom is enabling consumers to buy or sell a vehicle from their home and then have that car picked up from or delivered to their driveway through a hassle-free free process. So they've essentially created an Amazon type of experience in a category where the overwhelming majority of consumers have been dissatisfied with the, with the traditional process. And actually delivering against that value proposition is an extraordinarily complex balance of both technology and car operations. And under Paul's leadership, he's built a distinctive team and distinctive capabilities on both of those fronts. On the technology side, for example, they're now analyzing over 500 million data points a day and leveraging machine learning to develop algorithms to set the pricing for both the buying and selling of the vehicles. And on the car operation side, over the course of the last year, they've increased capacity by over 50% through their reconditioning facility, which is enabling them to offer more cars available for purchase every day. That combination has led to industry-leading inventory turns, strong gross profit per vehicle, while offering consumers a competitive price for both buying and selling vehicles. And we think overall that combination is a great win for consumers and a strong proposition for investors.